We finally have an official policy line from Keir Starmer's Labour Party in case they get into government. And it's the wokest of the woke. The Labour government will be prioritising non-white business owners over people with a bit of a lighter skin tone. Okay, so we now live in a world where your skin colour matters more than ever. It's 2023. It's the modern West, the democratic West, dominated by the so-called liberal progressives who are bringing back division based on your skin tone and what you were and what's under your clothes, what, your, what hair you have, how you speak. Everything is about collectivism. Everything is about identity politics. And now the Labour Party are going to be the champion of this. The Labour Party will be hoping to ensure that non-white led firms, uh, so companies that are led by, for example, people with a bit of a darker skin tone, will have access to lucrative government contracts. Look, lucrative government contracts. Okay, so until now, I don't understand why this even exists, by the way, because the, the job of the government shouldn't really be to subsidize everybody. But you, all you have to do is just create a low-tax economy to make sure people actually create businesses and pay their fair share in tax but leave people alone. But we have a situation where the economy is in such a mess that the state will be helping some people, small businesses, to actually come up. Fine, I'll compromise. A lot of these businesses, especially in a lot of... Um, outer cities so smaller towns and villages uh, will be a lot of white people because the majority of people in this country are still white <laughs> and that's by the fact that some people don't want it to be anymore but now they're saying well they've had it good enough until now so we're gonna have to help the others really okay so Annalise Dodds is a senior figure the Labour Party has come out to say the Labour Party will make tackling structural racial inequality a key mission in government by introducing a race equality act to deliver security, prosperity and respect for everyone in this country. As the next general elections draws closer and Labour prepares for government, <laughs> the act is being developed by the Labour front bench, working with Baroness Lawrence, uh, policy and legal experts and community groups. And this work is ongoing. <clears throat> okay, so... That means that on the, on the one hand, you've been patronizing and condescending to certain groups of people, saying that they are stupid and we, we, only we can help them. <laughs> Secondly, you're saying that uh, there's some sort of privilege um, for people with light, lighter skin tone, white people. You do realize that when it comes to poverty, deprived areas, when it comes to the level of education and everything else, cost of living crisis, a lot of people who are being hit right now, the majority are white people. So you're assuming that every single white person is that posho who goes to work in the city with a suit and a tie and afterwards drink champagne and eat caviar because those people actually will end up voting Lib Dem anyway because of uh, self-guilt and you know, there was a self-hate of the, the politics of envy that's been created in this country. But, and you're all assuming that everyone who's not white is in the deprived areas. They're assuming, they're implying that in deprived areas, there are no white people, really? So what about that hardworking, um, the, the white person who actually wants to create a business, needs that help, saying, well, until now, they've been receiving all the help. Really? Some of them. But what about the rest? Is that equality? So Lord Woolley has come out to say, oh dear, as always, um, elections are won and lost by small margins. Those small margins can easily be decided by the black votes. Mm. That's why I'm urging black voters to register to vote for a greater voice, for greater equality. It takes three minutes. We can decide who has the keys to Downing Street. This is the most disgusting statement. One of the most disgusting statements that we keep hearing in Western politics and democracies these days. What Martin Luther King was saying, that go with the character of the person rather than their skin color or any identity politics of their the identity politics and collectivism this is division if you keep dividing people if you keep putting people in boxes you won't help them get out of it you won't help them integrate properly you won't help them to actually be 
see themselves and be treated like everybody else because you keep labeling them and you do the same with white people if you voted brexit you're a gammon apparently and it's a big problem and everything is about name calling everything is about labels not individual insults i like the individual insults but it's about everything is about collectivist labels we all have to be in certain boxes and you wonder why this country is no longer united you wonder why there's no integration anymore. And the integration is not just about new migrants coming into the country. There's lack of integration among, among people in the current country who were even born here. But they're essentially not really integrated with the rest of us. And you wonder why there are problems. Because these people keep promoting their vision over actual unity and actual equality. Equal opportunity. Let me know what you guys think. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.